why you should not drink. Now, I'm not telling nobody what to do. If you want to keep drinking, do you. So please don't be in the comment, I'ma still drink. That do not help. Just give me and you a favor and just keep scrolling. Y'all did not know it's a low vibrational ass demon named alcohol. Alcohol stands for alcohol. Drinking alcohol is one of the fastest ways you can do to lower your vibration. Alcohol keeps the human consciousness at a lower state for thousands of years. This is why when you see uncles get drunk, it's like they crazy. They do some wicked shit. It's because demons are controlling them. Whoever was so drunk and blacked out, then when you sober, your friend tell you every crazy shit that you did. It's because this demon was controlling you. Think about how it's a liquor store in every corner. Rappers influence this shit. It's cool to go out and act crazy. Everything that fucks up our health, they influence this shit on us. They ban shrooms, but you can go get some cigarettes at the corner store. Everything that they promote is meant to fuck up our health. Look at people vaping. You don't think that's fucking up people's health? Y'all think they just be promoting all this shit on us and it's not doing nothing to us. Stay away from drinking. Follow for more. Why you sh- Shalom. Call Lamla. Yahweh. Bahashem. Yahweh Shai. Bahashem Rekwakadash. All praises be to the Most High. Yahweh, in the name of his son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, and pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders. And the apostles of Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson. This lesson will surprise you. So contrary to popular belief. We can drink but not get drunk. So we can drink in moderation. Not pass out drunk. Or get drunk. Now we should not be smoking. Or eating pork. Or vaping. That's going off. Let's go into the word. So I didn't know these scriptures. Until I came into the truth. Go to Proverbs 31. Proverbs 31. Let's go to verse. Let's go to verse 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts, troubled mind, or terminally ill, or just need to get the edge off of you. It's okay to drink in moderation. Let's read it again. In pain. In the old days, they would use alcohol to help relieve the pain, especially during amputations or surgery. Let's read this again. Proverbs 31 or 6. Give strong drink unto him that is ready to perish, and wine unto those that be of heavy hearts. Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. What is that heavy heart? Let's go into it. <clears throat> heavy heart comes from a Hebrew. Strong's H 5315. Nefesh. Nefesh. Look at G as in golf. Activity of mind. A troubled mind. That's the heavy heart. Proverbs 31 or 7. Let him drink. <coughs> Let him drink and forget his poverty and remember his misery no more. Let's keep it moving. <clears throat> My voice is very dry. Let's go here. Psalms 104, verse 14. He causeth the grass to grow for the cattle and herb 
for the service of man, that he may bring forth food out of the earth, and wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. See? So strong drink or wine in moderation is okay. Most of us, when we grew up in the Christian church, we were taught that it's a sin, which is not true. Proverbs, excuse me, Psalms 104, verse 15. And wine that maketh glad the heart of man, and oil to make his face to shine, and bread which strengtheneth man's heart. That heart is your mind, our mind. Let's see what the Lord said in the red letter. <laughs> I'm going to go to Luke 22, verse 27. For whether it is, for whether is greater he that sitteth at meat or he that serve is not he that sitteth at meat, but I am among you as he that serveth. So our Lord came in the role of a meek and humble servant. So humility comes before honor. Let's go to verse 28. Ye are they which have continued with me in my temptations, suffering patiently, meekness, humility. Let's go to verse 29. And I appoint unto you a kingdom as my father hath appointed unto me, that ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel may eat and drink. So wine is lawful along with strong drink. Wine can be made extremely strong, by the way, especially the more expensive bottles of wine. Let's see what our Lord and Savior said again. Luke 22, verse 30. That ye may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom and sit upon thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So the elect are going to be turning it up in the kingdom. With Yahweh Shai, King Solomon. Let's go to Matthew 11, verse 17. Red letter, Yahweh Shai speaking. Matthew 11, let's go to verse 16. <clears throat> but whereunto shall I liken this generation? It is like unto children sitting in the markets and calling unto their fellows and saying, we have piped unto you and ye have not danced. We have mourned unto you and ye have not lamented. This song is this doctrine. We're singing unto the Lord a new song. The words of wisdom. Let's go to verse 18. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. So no matter what you do amongst Israel, you're still wrong. You're still demonized. Verse 18 again. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say he hath a devil. 
the son of man came eating and drinking. And they say, behold, a man gluttonous and a wine bibber, a friend of publicans and sinners. But wisdom is justified of her children. So he was called. Let's look at that word, wine bibber. Our Savior, our Lord, drank wine in moderation. But was still called names. Let's look at that word, wine bibber. Comes from the Greek. Strong's G, 3630, oinapates. Oinapates. Given to wine. Basically calling him a drunk. Matter of fact, let's get more clarity. Let's go to the NLT. The New Living Translation. See? Matthew 11, verse 19. The son of man, on the other hand, feasts and drinks. And you say he, he is a glutton and a drunkard. See? So our Lord and Savior was called a drunk or a drunkard. <clears throat> Let's read it again. Matthew 11, verse 19. The son of man on the other hand, feasts and drinks. And you say he's a glutton and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and other sinners. But wisdom is shown to be right by its results. So this Holy Spirit is what makes us pure. The spirit of truth. So we're not saved by our own doing, but by the mercy and grace of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. See, let's revisit this one. Luke 22 and 30. <clears throat> Luke 22. Verse 29, and just as my father has granted me a kingdom, I now grant you the right to eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. See? So yes, we can drink in moderation, not become passed out. Drunk, how do we say that in the old days? Drunk as a skunk. Reeking with alcohol. That's bugged out. Let's read this one. Ecclesiastes 9, let's go to verse 7. Ecclesiastes 9, verse 7. Go thy way, eat thy bread with joy, and drink thy wine with a merry heart for the most high now accepteth thy works see drink and be merry not bogged out and drunk as a skunk go thy way eat thy bread with joy and drink thy wine with a merry heart for the most high now accepteth thy works let thy garments be always white and let thy head lack no ointment. Staying in the spirit, which means what? Being sober, not intoxicated off philosophy or literal strong drink. Drink in moderation or there's a point where we cross the line. See? Let's go here, Sirach 31. Sirach 31, let's go to verse, thir uh, Sirach 31, verse 27. Wine is as good as life 
to a man if it be drunk moderately. That's a cut for anybody saying we're going off for drinking. Let's read it again. <clears throat> Sirach 31, verse 27. Wine. Wine is as good as life to a man if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. So a nice drink is good every now and then. But we shouldn't be doing it in a holy place, a tabernacle. Wine is as good as life to a man if it be drunk moderately. What life is then to a man that is without wine? For it was made to make men glad. Sirach 31 verse 28. Wine measurably, verse 28, wine measurably drunk and in season bring gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind. So just like when the kingdom come, we're going to be turning it up. Wine measurably drunk and in season bringeth gladness of the heart and cheerfulness of the mind but wine drunken with excess maketh bitterness of the mind with brawling and quarreling intoxicated drunk a drunkard verse 30 drunkenness increaseth the rage of a fool till he offend it diminisheth strength and maketh wounds. Be sober, be vigilant. Go to verse 31. Rebuke not thy neighbor at the wine and despise him not in his mirth. Give him no disrespectful words. Let's read it again. So don't condemn anyone for drinking in moderation. Sirach 31, verse 31. Rebuke not thy neighbor at the wine and despise him not in his mirth. Give him no despiteful words and press not upon him with urging him to drink. It's okay. Let's close out here. 1 Peter 5, I'm going to go to verse 7. 1 Peter 5, verse 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. Let's go to verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, be sober, be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Once again, don't be drunk. Philosophy, false doctrine, and literally intoxicated being without a sound mind because we're in a spiritual battle a spiritual war so we got to be level headed hopefully this lesson has been edifying all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala and the Bad Baba. This lesson will surprise you. We got next, Lord willing.
We'll rock a thumb. Shalom. You should not drink. Now, I'm not telling nobody what to do. If you want to keep drinking, do you. So please don't be in the comment, I'm going to still drink. That do not help. Just give me and you a favor and just keep scrolling. Y'all did not know it's a low vibrational ass demon named alcohol. Alcohol stands for alcohol. Drinking alcohol is one of the fastest ways you can do to lower your vibration. Alcohol keeps the human consciousness at a lower state for thousands of years. This is why when you see uncles get drunk, it's like they crazy. They do some wicked shit. It's because demons are controlling them. Whoever was so drunk and blacked out, then when you sober your friend tell you every crazy shit that you did. It's because this demon was controlling you. Think about how it's a liquor store in every corner. Rappers influence this shit. It's cool to go out and act crazy. Everything that fucks up our health, they influence this shit on us. They ban shrooms, but you can go get some cigarettes at the corner store. Everything that they promote is meant to fuck up our health. Look at people vaping. You don't think that's fucking up people's health? Y'all think they just be promoting all this shit on us and it's not doing nothing to us. Stay away from drinking.